organized by a sports arena built in the late 90s. They call this Harbor Yard, where tonight America's Fight Night is pleased to present a world championship doubleheader. In Bridgeport's first world title fight since 1927, we anticipate a lively crowd for the first boxing event ever here at the arena at Harbor Yard, home to the Bridgeport Sound Tigers, an affiliate of hockey's New York Islanders. Tonight, it's home to Showtime Championship Boxing. It's fight night in Bridgeport. In our main event, tremendous Travis Sims comes home to defend his WBA Super Welterweight crown as the Norwalk native takes on number one contender Joe Hashim Alcine in a battle of undefeateds. And for openers, unbeaten knockout specialist Vic Darchinian puts his IBF flyweight belt on the line against Nonito Donaire. Hello again, everybody. Steve Albert, ringside from Bridgeport, Connecticut. Well, tonight we feature two world title fights and four fighters with only one loss among them, a combined record of 98-1 and one with 69 knockouts. But the spotlight falls on a pair of undefeated world champions with similar intentions. Both Travis Sims and Victor Archinian plan to show us why they're the most avoided fighters in their respective divisions, while convincing us they're also the best fighters in their divisions. Will it all add up to fistic fireworks as the promotional billing exclaims? Stay tuned. And with that, let me bring on my ringside partner, Al Bernstein. And Al, what does the future hold for Sims and Darchinian? Well, they would like it to hold career-defining fights and money-making ones as well. You know, they blame the vagaries of boxing, commerce, and politics for that not happening. But tonight, if they're not careful, they could have fights that redefine their careers, Steve, in a way that they wouldn't like. Because let me tell you, they're both facing highly motivated and highly talented opponents. Well, a slip-up tonight would be disastrous as both undefeated world champions continue their quest for big name, big money fights. And with that, we invite you to send your predictions on the Sims Alcine fight to us here at Showtime. If you think the fight will end in a knockout, text the letter K to SHOTV. Or if you think the fight will go to a decision, text the letter D to SHOTV. Standard text messaging rates apply. Coming up from Bridgeport, our co-feature, he's brash, charismatic, and explosive. Vic Darchinian set for his seventh defense of the IBF flyweight title as he meets once-beaten Nonito Donaire. And what else is new as Darchinian has predicted a knockout? Well, Al, Darchinian says he wants to unify the flyweight division, but could this be the last time we see him fighting in this weight class? You know, it's been very hard for him to get a unification match with flyweight champions, that's for sure. But I don't think it's going to be quite as hard if he moves up to 115, the super flyweight division. There are a number of champions there that I think might be interested in taking the bait. For instance, newly crowned WBC champ Kristin Mihadis is one of them. He might be very interested. And if Darchinian is wondering what it would be be like to face Mahadas. Well, Victor Chinian meet Nonito Donaire. Even though Donaire is a righty and Mahadas is a lefty, they have very similar styles. And another similarity is that Donaire is by trade a super flyweight moving down for this fight. This 24 year old Donaire has the style and skill to severely test Darchinian, but can he do it? If he is to succeed, Donaire cannot stand in front of Darchinian. Angles are important. Darchinian squares up and invites the right hand. Donaire has a good one. When Darchinian attacks, as he will, Donaire must land counter punches. Missed Darchinian punches have to be countered. Here, a short jab gives Donaire a chance to land the counter right hand. And that's exactly what he does. For Donaire to be successful tonight, this must happen. So far, Darchinian has overcome his defensive lapses, but tonight he'll need to pay attention to defense. He takes fighters out of fights with his physicality. That sometimes means heads and elbows. This is intimidating. His best weapon is the left hand, and he is great at repeating this punch until it gets the job done. The jab sets up a Darchinian left hand. This combination is often repeated in his attack. But he doesn't stop there. He can quickly reload and use a second left hand. That sets him apart. It's a great plus for him.
his biggest stage moments from his toughest test fighting for his first world title. Nonito's older brother, Glenn, manhandled by Darchinian last October. Glenn suffered a broken jaw in the process, and Nonito said he's not out for revenge. He just wants to beat Darchinian up because he feels he's an arrogant bully. Darchinian still miffed he didn't get the knockout because it was ruled from an elbow, not a punch, and further infuriated when Nonito agreed with the ruling. Al Donaire quite different from Darchinian's last opponent, the smaller Victor Burgos. Donaire comes down in weight. Big factor? Yeah, it really is. You know, Donaire's rated in the top 10 by three of the organizations at 115th, and he's coming down to 112 to try and win a title. Making weight, he said, is no problem. And when we saw him yesterday, he didn't look gaunt. He looked good. But we should point out, it's the first time he's fought at 112 since 2002. We'll see if it has an impact. We mentioned his brother, Glenn Donaire. There he is, getting the hug, hoping his younger brother doesn't meet the same fate as he did versus Victor Chinian. Nonito hoping tonight to settle the score once and for all with Victor Chinian. The speedy Donaire, known as Flash, born in the Philippines, came to California at age 10. Very impressive amateur career. 2000 Olympic trials finals, his only pro loss, his second fight, 16 straight wins since. is full of swagger, always entertaining. Aussie, okay, Armenian, Victor Chinian, the little lefty dynamo with uncanny power. One of the hardest hitters in any weight class. Wants a knockout every fight, but he comes off the grim scenario in which he punished the aforementioned former junior flyweight champion, Victor Burgos, who survived brain surgery and a coma. It was touch and go, but now he's out of the hospital in his hometown of Tijuana, walking and talking on his own, and happy to report the prognosis is improving. Now, Al, people may wonder, is the memory of that near tragic experience lingering in Darchinian's mind? Well, he was very clear how he felt going into this fight. I'm going to do the same. I'm going to go for knockout. I'm going to punish my opponent. I just hope nothing bad going to happen. He's going to walk out by his legs from ring, but I'm going to kill and destroy and going to smash him. Darchinian, it would be a problem, certainly, if he was impacted. He appears to be somewhat unfazed and ready to get back to business. We'll see, though. Other fighters have been affected by those situations. That said, he did call the incident one of the hardest nights of his career, and he phoned the United States from Australia every day to find out how Burgos was doing. So you know it impacted on Vic Darchinian. Let's check the numbers right now as we will go to the tail of the tape. Donaire has the physical advantages, just 24, younger by seven years, a shade taller than Darchinian, but he has the reach by three and a half inches. And at yesterday's weigh-in, Darchinian 112, Donaire just under the limit. And the notable unified rules for this world title fight. No standing eight count, no three knockdown rule. A fighter cannot be saved by the bell in any round. If an accidental headbutt causes a fight to end within four rounds, it's a no decision. After four rounds, they go to the scorecards. And if a punch causes a cut and the injured fighter can't continue, he loses by TKO. So here at the arena at Harbor Yard in Bridgeport, Connecticut, getting ready for Victor Chidian versus Nonito Donaire for the IBF Flyweight Championship. Let's get the formal introductions from our ring announcer, Jimmy Lennon Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, a very good evening to you and welcome to the arena at Harbor Yard in Bridgeport, Connecticut, as we have a big night of world championship boxing coming your way, brought to you by Don King Productions and Showtime. Well, fans, at this time, we present a world title attraction brought to you in conjunction with Gary Shaw Productions and sanctioned by the International Boxing Federation, President Marion Muhammad, Supervisor Daryl Peoples, along with the International Boxing Organization, President Ed Levine, Supervisor Frank Brunette, 
and the Connecticut Department of Public Safety. Introducing to you our three judges, scoring them out from ringside. From Cromwell, Connecticut, Stephen Epstein. From Flushing, New York, John McKay. And from West Suffield, Connecticut, Donald Trella. And our third man in the ring, the referee in charge, hailing from Brooklyn, New York, Eddie Claudio. All right, fans, here we go. 12 rounds of boxing for the IBF Flyweight Championship of the World. Introducing to you first, the challenger on my left, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing red trunks with white trim, fighting out of San Leandro, California, by way of General Santos City, Mindanao in the Philippines. He weighed in at a ready 111 and one half pounds, with a record of 17 wins and one defeat. He has 10 wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the current NABF champion, ranked the number eight IBF world contender. He is known as the Filipino Flash, introducing Nonito Donaire. And his opponent across the ring, the defending world champion on my right, fighting out of the red corner, wearing black trunks, fighting out of Sydney, Australia, by way of Vanadzor, Armenia. He weighed in at the flyweight limit of 112 pounds. He is undefeated in his campaign to the ring with 28 wins, no losses, 22 wins coming by way of knockout. Tonight he is making the seventh defense of his title. Here is the undefeated IBF and IBO flyweight champion of the world known as the Raging Bull, introducing Vic Darchinian. Once again, a referee in charge, Eddie Claudio, now to give instructions. 12 rounds of championship boxing scheduled. I don't want, I don't gotta wait for the cue. Bring him on in. All right, one second, one second, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's get rolling, let's get rolling. Let's go, baby. Over here, Vic. Bonito. Okay, gentlemen, you receive your instructions in the dressing room. The IBF and IBO flyweight championship is on the line. I expect a good, clean fight. Protect yourself at all times. Above all, respect my commands at all times. Let's touch them up. Let's get popping. Let's get popping, says Eddie Claudio of Brooklyn. Vic Darchenian, one of the most unique and unorthodox fighters in the world, has never been dropped or hurt or even remotely threatened in the ring. Almost every punch is meant to end the fight or at least break your spirit. His left dynamite. But in meeting with Nonito Donaire yesterday, he came across as very confident, loose, and incredibly calm. A guy who, who seemed like he already had the test questions in advance. <laughs> we'll soon find out, Al. I like that explanation of him. Something, unfortunately, I never had. You know, no, I, I find that hard to believe. He is a taller fighter with a bigger reach. And those are the things that you always wonder, can a Darchinian, who's a fighter that comes forward, deal with? Donaire's attacking him much more than I expected right at the beginning. Darchinian, not a particularly fast starter in general. It'll be interesting to see if he, he gets right to it here. He did start unusually fast against Nonito's brother, Glenn, who incidentally told the younger Nonito that Darchinian does not hit hard, and you can see the punches coming. Darchinian's response, he was toying with Glenn that night, and didn't punch as hard as he usually does. Whoop, big left uppercut attempt there by Donaire, that big. Two things have happened. The right hand is landing for Donaire, but the left is landing by Darchinian. But I think Nonito Donaire has made Vic Darchinian think about his power already. And a wild swing and a miss with the left by uh, Darchinian, the free-swinging Darchinian. Is being tested right out of the gate here by the younger Nonito Donaire having a, a very good start to the fight. Well, you mentioned it. You know, you said Victor Chinian's gone through an undefeated career, barely tested. I got to be honest, in the first half of round one, he's been hit more than we've seen in all the fights, and he's getting whacked like Donaire. He just got hit. That was a shove. He just got hit by a left hand by Nonito Donaire. 
Donaire comes out blazing here midway through the first round. Now the danger in all this is Donaire better not get too brave. His mission is to be a boxer puncher, even a, though a powerful one. Now Darchin trying to push Donaire back. Donaire has skills, no question, straight right hand to the chest. He's versatile, he's patient, calm, and lightning fast, and he can handle pressure. He's got a lot of amateur experience. Well, in the keys to victory, one of the ones was land the right hand. Donaire's done it repeatedly to both the body and the head here in round one. Donaire really up on his toes, moving to his left, which is the correct thing to do. And another wild swing and a miss there by a Darchinian. And if he's not careful, he's going to be wide open for a straight right by Donaire. Now Donaire goes to the midsection, but that was blocked by uh, Darchinian. A spin around move there by uh, Donaire. You know, Vic Darchinian's probably lost a few rounds along the way in his pro career, but I don't think he's ever lost one the way he's losing this one. Donaire said he's very cognizant of Darchinian's uppercut, but that straight left can really wear you down. there moments before the bell to end the first round but he seems very fresh what's up down there give me the water what's it yeah yeah water i got big no wait 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 breathe little breathe okay back down <laughs> everything good first round okay a little bit nervous because he's shocking, he come out hard, which is good, Vic. Well, we don't know how long this is all going to last, but for now, Nonito Donaire is having his way with Vic Darchinian. There's the right hand landing, and even those wild punches by Donaire don't get countered by Darchinian. And it's not really just the right hand either. There's a nice left, counter left hook by Donaire. The trick for Donaire was to counter well as Darchinian came in, and for the most part, he has done it. Already after round one, the plot is thickening a bit. Excellent uh, opening round for the challenger, Nonito Donaire, in the red and white, 17 and one with 10 knockouts. The champion, Darchenian of the Black Trucks. Donaire, a huge underdog, yet he feels Darchenian has built his record on washed up fighters and guys moving up in weight. Well, at least tonight, Darchenian in there with someone who's fought mostly at flyweight and super flyweight. But remember, Darchinian regularly spars with guys much bigger than him. Darchinian 28-0 with 22 knockouts. Now, Darchinian told us he wanted to use his right hand a lot more in this fight. He's known primarily as a left-handed puncher. So let's see if he tries to throw the right hook and the right upper and cut a little more against Donaire. And the reason for that, because he knows that Donaire is going to be circling to his left to try to get away from his power, the left hand. So he'll try to surprise him with the right. There it is, right there on cue. You know what I'm surprised at? And, and it's a good weapon. Oh, oh, left hand by Donaire to the head. He is landing the jab. Donaire's also landing his left hook pretty well. And of course, that's a good weapon against the southpaw. Donaire not known for that punch. And he's had hand problems with his left, broken in his second fight as a pro, and it's been troubling him sometimes in fights since. Oh, Darchinian got nailed, and then he came back. Here's a right hand, a miss by the Donaire with the left hand. And it is really heating up here in round two. No, Nito Donaire is making this an interesting fight, but boy, he could make it too interesting for himself because there are times when he is standing in harm's way of those Dartinian big bunches. Donaire has to be extremely focused against the, the awkward, herky-jerky moves of, of uh, Vic Dartinian. There by that was a seminal moment in this fight. A big left hand by Darchinian, and Donaire counters him with the left hook. This is really turning into an interesting fight here in round two. It's a pretty good give and take. Good two-way action here in the early going for the IBF flyweight crowd. Well, you know, the interesting thing about this is it's almost as if Darchinian has stepped up in weight because Donaire is, by trade, a 115-pounder. And so we're getting a clue of how things would go for him in the 115-pound division. Darchinian missing again with a straight left there. And Darchinian's landed some more good straight left hands in this round. He's had a better second round. I don't know if he's winning it, but it's been better. Well, he's usually a slow starter. 
I mean, even in fights in which he, he has been highly combustible later on. Trying to push Donaire back with heavy lefts there is Darchinian, but the Donaire standing his ground, looking tough. Final seconds of round two. In what is developing into an interesting affair. Well, as we mentioned earlier, back in October here on Showtime, Victor Chinian had his way with Nonito Donaire's older brother, Glenn. Tough outing for Glenn Donaire, down early in the fight, punished throughout until the sixth round when the fight was stopped because of a broken jaw and it ended up being a technical win for Vic Darchinian. Tough Time. night for Glenn Donaire. Yeah, hey, you can't continue? Uh -huh. Time, time. Yeah! Okay. And, and Glenn Donaire with the broken jaw. There he is now, jaw healed. A very interested spectator on hand to support his kid brother. Nonito says, hey, it's better to have Glenn in the seats with everybody else, not in the corner, because he just gets too nervous and hyper. And that's their dad, who, of course, is the trainer of these two young men. And where's mom? Well, Imelda Donaire is at home in California watching on TV and, according to Nonito, praying. Well, it, it, it must be working to this point because uh, young Nonito uh, faring pretty well as we enter round three. And, you know, round two, I have to say, I might have put it in Darchinian's column because of his good second half of the round. He did come back very well, and not body work by uh, Donaire. Darchinian's finding the range with the, uh, with the straight left, but I, the body work by Donaire in this round's been impressive. You can see the, the difference in height and reach uh, favoring the young challenger, Donaire. Darchinian certainly has his vulnerabilities, as you can see, uh, looping his punches, as Al pointed out earlier, the defensive lapses. But his ultra con unconventional style and his incredible power usually bail him out. And when he straightens out those lefts, the power is compounded, like just now. Now, now Darchinian going to the right. That was a counter left, took a moment ago by Donaire. Every time Vic Darchinian kind of rushes in, he does get countered by Donaire. And that's an issue for him. Donaire has more well-rounded skills than uh, Darchinian. Darchinian usually just looks for that one punch to end it. He's kind of undisciplined, but it, it seems to work for him. Well, you know, Vic Darchinian changes fighters when they come in the ring, and he's right. Once they've felt his power for the most part, Steve, they change. They can't use their skills. That hasn't happened yet to Nonito Donaire, but there's a good left hand by Darchinian. A lot of the times, it's difficult to stay outside box move counter uh, against Darchinian. You have to sort of get in his chest, push him back, make it messy, hook to the body. But that's easier said than done because if you get inside and you feel his sting, it's very discouraging. Now to Donaire's credit, he has fought this whole fight for the most part at long range, used his jab and stayed there. And Vic has managed to get the straight left hand in from time to time, but I know not as much as he would want. So far, he hasn't hurt Donaire with that punch. Donaire being extremely calm and patient here. Waiting for his moments. The other thing Donaire did a moment ago was he fainted Darchinian, and you saw Darchinian react. Big straight left hand right on the button by Vic Darchinian. That nailed Donaire. Oh, there's a good left hand that staggered Darchinian. Remember, he's never been hurt or dropped in his career. Donaire, sensing the moment. Darchinian back. Ironic that a left hook has been the big weapon for Donaire. Surprising. What a huge finish to round three for the challenger, Nonito Donaire. A rocky scenario for this man, Darchinian. I lost round? Yeah, of course he lost round. Hey, his eye, his eye. Take that. Yeah, Vic. It's nothing, Vic. No panic, relax. No panic. Don't panic. worry about it, relax. Listen to me. Don't worry about the rounds now. Listen, Vic. We are letting him do all the work from the middle. He, you're just standing there. 
and your right leg is not on the outside, inside. He's always catching us with right hands, Vic. You gave him a couple of good punches. Vic, it's all right, brother. It's all good. Well, Darchinian was able to land a good straight left hand against Stone there. Now, those are the kind of punches that are supposed to make fighters not come back at you. But there's a left hook by Donaire, and that was um, a portent of things to come because there's a good counter left hook by Donaire that hurt Darchinian and changed that round. And there would be other left hooks to follow that would also hurt Darchinian and big cut around the right eye of Darchinian. We'll see if that uh, enters in as a factor. So things really getting intriguing here. This is the first time we've seen Victor Chinian in any kind of trouble. It might be the first time he's been in trouble his entire career. And we'll see how he responds in this situation. Round four, scheduled for 12, IBF flyweight title. Darchinian's belt on the line. Darchinian's undefeated record at stake as well. You know, Darchinian's dad is here to see his fight. Only the second time he's seen his son fight as a pro. He's got to be a little nervous at this point. Tense moments for Ruben Darchinian. The first trip to the United States. Owns a, owned a gas station in Armenia, and uh, he and Vic have a great relationship. And right now, he's got to be concerned for his son. A lot of concern in the Darchinian corner as well, led by trainer Billy Hussein, who's 2-0 and with Darchinian, so he's taking over from former world champion Jeff Fennick. You know what's interesting about this, too, now? Darchinian kind of feels urgency to come forward and make things happen, but when he does, Donaire is counterpunching him so effectively. So it's a tricky situation for Vic Darchinian right now. Donaire not quite as aggressive as he was towards the end of the third round. Just tasted a straight left hand from Darchinian. Darchinian's able to get that left hand, when he, especially when he uses the jab. I think Vic Darchinian has not used his jab enough in this fight, Stephen. Were he using it more, it would set up that straight left hand. You'll notice uh, both eyes red and swollen on Darchinian right now. Missing Wally with a straight left is Darchinian. So the eyes are becoming a factor for Darchinian. And it's early. How will Vic Darchinian handle adversity? For the moment, it, it appears as if Donaire is letting him off the hook. Now, that right hand by Donaire was blocked by the left glove of Darchinian. Straight left hand by Darchinian to the chest, pushes Donaire back. Again, the counter left hook by Donaire. You know, the problem with Darchinian is when he rushes in, defense is not something he remembers much, and Donaire has been able to take advantage of it. Now, there's some rough house tactics by Darchinian. We talked about that before the fight. He likes to rough things up in there, but you can't do it, Steve, when your opponent, who has a big height and reach advantage, stays on the outside. Nice counter left there by Donaire. Another counter there by Darchinian. And a spin around the move by Donaire. And Eddie Claudio is saying, don't do that. I kind of thought it was fun. <laughs> Works better in basketball. Yeah, it's true. Final seconds of the round. And Darchinian ends it with a straight left to the chest. Let's get it over to our Jim Gray. Jim. All right, Steve, thank you very much. I'm here with Glenn. Your brother is doing very, very well. Oh, yeah. Nanito is right now. How much advice were you able to give him coming off your loss to Darchinian? The only thing I told him is that, uh, you know, look, if only I could hurt Vic, because Vic was way a lot bigger than I am. But, you know, like a fighter, you know, uh, I never back up to anybody. But the thing is, I hit Vic with a good punch back, back then, and I couldn't hurt him. I could only hear him go, oh. But I told him, if my brother, if you, bro, if you hit him with those kind of punch, you'll knock him out. And, and did, did you feel as though Darchinian could not hurt your brother? Um, the thing is, we have two different styles. And the only thing my brother needs to do is, you know, just don't get hit. Because Darchinian is, is, like I said, you know, God forbid, he's a lucky puncher. You're more nervous now than when you fight, aren't you? Oh, no. You know, to tell you, ask my brother or whatever. When we go into the ring, we never, you know, no lie, we never get nervous. But when we, we, we see each other fight, we get nervous. <laughs> Calm down. Enjoy the fight. Thanks for coming on. Thank with you us. very much. Okay. Thank you. Back to you, Steve. Thank you very much, Jim. Boy, he made me nervous. <laughs> they are two different kinds of fighters. Glenn Donaire, a face first brawler. And Onita, more of a, a tactical technician. And Onita Donaire has some physical attributes too that his brother doesn't have. He's taller, he's got the reach, 
uh, and he's a little bit bigger. And so all of that is troubling Vic Darchinian right now. Darchinian came in thinking that Nonito uh, was more of a threat, that he was better than, than Glenn, taking nothing away mm -hmm. from, from Glenn's skills. Round five underway, scheduled for 12. IBF flyweight belt on the line. The champion Darchinian in the black. Struggling a little bit with the challenger in the red, Nonito Donaire. Nice shot to the you know, body there by Donaire. Exactly, Steve. And the body work Donaire's done over the first four and a half rounds could pay dividends later in the fight. Donaire thinks he'll own the later rounds. Uh, in, in his last 12 round fight, uh, Donaire against Oscar Andrade won the last three rounds dramatically to win that decision. He feels he's going to be the stronger fighter in the later rounds. And our panel of press row scores have it as a, yes, a majority draw after four rounds. I have a 39-37 as Sherman Kane does. Sherman Kane from the Manchester Journal Inquirer here in Connecticut. Mark Abrams, 15rounds.com. Jack Obermeyer from Boxing Digest. Coming up at the midway point of round five. There's the jab by Nonito Donaire at working well. Oh, my. for Nonito Donaire. That may go down as one of the knockouts of the year, if not the knockout of the year. He's okay, he's okay, he's okay. And now we turn our attention to the safety and health of Victor Chenian. Yeah, the irony here, of course, is after the Victor Burgos fight, in which Burgos was in some serious trouble. We hope that will not be the case for Victor Chinian as they work on him uh, and try and make sure he's okay. What a dramatic moment here in this city of Bridgeport, Connecticut as the emotions fly, the brothers embrace. What a night for Nonito Donaire. He set the, the tone for that a couple rounds earlier by landing those really great counter left hooks. And now, uh, as Victor Chinian remains on the canvas, and some of this may be precautionary, we can't speculate, but we would hope it is in any case, just to keep him down. But well. They're bringing in the, the equipment, the stretcher. Boy, mm. you, you hit it right on the head. The irony, just like they brought it in for Victor Burgos back in March. Nonito Donaire avenging his brother's loss in dramatic fashion. Several rounds earlier, Donaire had started to land the counter left hand, and here it would come in dramatic fashion. Again, lunging in, Darchinian, as he has not concerned about defense. You have to admire the courage of Darchinian and the will. As hurt as he was, trying desperately to get up and continue. And clearly we know he was hurt. And uh, you see there, just not doing well. And from above, we get a chance to see how well that left hook landed. It was just a perfect counter left hook by Nonito Donaire. And you know, we talked about how the left hook had been successful early in the fight and really was the surprise weapon tonight. We would have expected the right hand to be more of a weapon for Donaire, and it put an end to Victor Chinian's invincibility, that's for sure, and of course his undefeated streak. And as he lunges in, you'll see the right hand very low for Darchinian, keeps it very low, walks into a left hook, and that unalterably changed this fight and ended it. Now, Nito Donaire coming down from super flyweight to meet Vic Darchinian, and Darchinian, thank goodness, is okay. No, 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 no. Hey, help us everyone, doesn't matter. Yeah, come on, Guys, let me, let me take him for a walk. Let me walk him around. Let's get the official word from our ring announcer, Jimmy Lennon Jr. 
Ladies and gentlemen, we have the time of 38 seconds in round number five. A referee in charge, Eddie Claudio, stops the contest. The winner by way of technical knockout and the new IBF and IBO flyweight champion of the world, the Filipino Flash, Nonito Upset. Nonito Donaire defends his family's honor, pulls off the huge surprise by dethroning Victor Chinian. Redemption for his brother's loss. Nonito hands Darchinian his first defeat in 29 fights. He has completely derailed Darchinian and turned the lighter weight divisions of the boxing world on its ear. Once again, we'd like to invite you to send your predictions on the upcoming Sims Alcine fight to us here at Showtime. If you think the fight will end in a knockout, text the letter K to SHOTV. Or if you think the fight will go to a decision, text the letter T to SHOTV. Standard text messaging rates apply. We're set now for post-fight comments from our opening bout. Very interested in hearing these words up to the ring in Jim Gray. Jim? All right, Steve, thank you very much. The entire family is up here. The Donaires are celebrating. Nonito, how did you manage to pull this off? Well, like I told Showtime before, but well, first of all, I want to thank God for everything. My parents, my mom, I love them. My dad, uh, Gary Shaw, for giving me this opportunity to Showtime. I love you guys. And my manager, Cameron, they made it happen. And to all the Filipinos out there who never believed in me, but I did it, and I proved you guys wrong. But I know that you're going to support me because I proved to the world that I'm something now. And I would like to thank everybody. Mabuhayang Pilipinas. With everybody, as you say, not believing this could happen, how did you manage to pull this off? Well, like I told Showtime earlier, I told them uh, yesterday, actually, that one punch can make a difference for me and him. And, and I told them, you know, I have power. I fought, I fought guys um, way heavier than him. You know, when I came in there, I was surprised he was so small. You know, I'm so used to be, uh, having bigger guys, and I, I could tell from his power that he has a lot of power. He was a tough guy to fight. But um, like I said, he made himself so open, and, and that's what one thing that I did was, once he's open, I just took my time to, to t time him with my biggest shot, and I did that. Before we look at the knockout, how much did your brother help you? Glenn in your preparation based on his loss well, to Vic? He gave me a lot of confidence. That's one thing. Vic, he, he hits pretty hard. He has a, you know, not too hard as I thought it would be, but, um, but he has a heavy hand. But my brother told me that he's not as tough as people think he is. And, and that gave me a lot of confidence. I went in there and, um, you know, I proved to everybody that my brother, he's a great fighter. And, and you guys should know that now by, by looking at me. You know, he helped me out prepare for this fight. Oh, I want to thank Freddie Roach and Wildcard Jim and Giosdado Gavi for helping me out. And I hope all the Filipinos fighters will, will make it happen. My boy, I'm Filipinas. Let me, let me let you look here at the monitor. And Anita, tell us here about the knockout. Describe what's happening here and what you're thinking. Well, I know I hurt him already. He was already hurt. I know that. And one thing could make a difference. I just time it. I knew he was going to throw something like that. And boom, there he goes. I just threw that hook, my strongest Good punch, night. Good night. and that was it. I mean, I, I got to give it to him, you know, I'm not the type of person, I mean, I respect him a lot. I know he was talking a lot of crap, and, um, you know, it just, I hope, I hope next time he talks, he talks that, you know, well, he distracted me, sorry. Um, I, I, you know, I forgot what I was going to say. I'm just too excited, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's okay, you're distracted. Here's your reaction here, right oh, now. Yeah. Do you feel as though that he was looking past you and didn't give you the proper respect? Um, from the way he came in the fight, I don't think he was looking past me because he wanted to knock me out. Like I said, I respected him. He had a lot of power. He was a difficult fighter to, uh, to fight. But one thing, one thing that really got me was, 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 uh, was that you know, there's a lot of Filipinos and everybody out there who didn't believe in me. And, um, and, and, and you know, one thing, that's how I reacted. Let us bring Vic in here. I want to also ask you what's next for you, but let's... Talk to Vic for just a moment before he leaves. You're Vic, a very great fighter. How are you feeling right I now? Are you okay? You. I feel good. He's out of words. I don't know what to say. I would love fight. That I would love fight again. I don't feel like I, I was hurt. Maybe he's knocked down. I don't feel I was hurted, you know. And you don't feel you were hurt. I will back. I will show him. What was a punch? I feel very bad. Like I said, Vic, I have a lot of respect for you. You're a great fighter. You give me a hell of a fight. You know, you are a really tough fighter thing. And like I said, I got respect for you. And, and hopefully, you know, you're okay and everything. And I know you'll come back from it. You me. You respect me? You're going to fight me again? Definitely. You're going to fight one me? Thing, one thing you, I have to say is that it's Gary Shaw's call. It's my manager's call. When they called me up for this fight, I never said 
anything. I said, all right, this is an opportunity, I will. And like I said, just, you know, and then... You're, what you're leads you to believe that you would be victorious next time? Because it didn't seem as though you were able to handle his power tonight. Oh, it's, it's punch, you know, it's happening in the boxing. Uh, I don't feel I was knocked down. Maybe I took punch, maybe I was knocked down. I would love fight, I would love fight him again. I just disappointed, I don't know, if, uh, first time in my life. Okay, I would love to take a rematch and I would like fighting, you know. And we'll, we'll see what's happening down the road. Well, what would you like to do next? Like I said, you know, like I said earlier, it's Gary Shaw's decision, it's my manager's decision. They gave me this opportunity, I love them for that. You know, they, they gave me this chance. I'm a world champion now because of them. And I'm never going to say no to whatever they say because I came in here underdog and never, you know, people didn't believe in it. I believed in myself and Gary Shaw believed in me and everybody out there who know who I, how I fight, believed in me, and like I said, you know, I've never so say, say no to anybody. It's Gary's just... Um, They're all believing in you now. Congratulations to the entire Denner family. Nanito, congratulations. Thank you very much. So all the people out there, sa akong mga, mga kapatentiyan, mga amigo na ko, Tanan, salamat kayo sa inyo, Tanan. Uh, to the ENJ family, to all my friends, thank you so much. There's the translation as well. Back to you, Steve. Jim, it's a family celebration. Nonito Donaire, the huge underdog, as he makes believers out of a lot of people. But, Al, I got to ask you, how do you react to what Victor Chenian just said? Well, we had a gracious winner, didn't we? Um, yeah. I, you know, he made believers out of everyone, I guess, except for Dick Vart Victor Chinian. Uh, that was an astonishing interview with him. I, I don't really understand why he didn't get the point that he was dominated by Nonito Donair. And, uh, you know, he's a confident, some say cocky young man, but he lost tonight. And that's a fact. That's beyond belief. Yeah. The words that came out of his mouth. Well, at 24, Nonito Donaire, the new IBF flyweight champion, as he came down from 115, now 18 and 1 with 11 knockouts, his 17th straight win. Darchinian goes to 28 and 1. His title reign, which began in 04, is over.